It's Mario! It's me, I'm a Mario! Hey, how you doing? Ah! That's all I got. Uh, let's go to the fucking level with the, um... Ah! You know, my heart's just not in it today. But I gotta say, you know, we got some bad news earlier. It turns out my, um... It turns out my kids, my long lost kids, that I haven't seen in God knows how long. It's been a long time since um, since I see my kids. And I just, I find out that uh, they want to get back in touch with me. And I'm like, fuck no. You guys left. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to look at, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to look at you. You fucking guys, you left. It was the happiest day of my life. Got the go on and do whatever it was I wanted to do and not have to worry about kids. For example, let me th throw you a scenario, uh, a Mario scenario that happened to me like so many times when I had kids. Imagine this, you're at the bar, all right, you're having a few beers, having a few drinks, having a few smokes and you look around your kids are like pull on your shirt and they're like, daddy, we, don't, we, can't, we can't drink anymore, our tiny livers are full of uh, bile. And I'm like, oh, it's always bright. Oh, it's at all. I can't imagine what the poor princess is going through. I'm going to save her. But not for you. For me. Um, their little, oh, little kidney is hurt. Oh, we can't. Oh, ooh, my lungs hurt. I can't smoke anymore. And I'm like, shit. Oh, God. Why you guys got to be such bitches about this? I understand that not everybody can drink as much as me. I understand that. You can't have your drink, that's fine. I'll be honest with you, like these little kids, they don't know. Here's a secret, man. I can't really hold, handle my drink either. I just make it look like I can. You know what I mean? What you gotta do is find like strategic places to throw up and do it when nobody's looking. And then when you do it, people are like, wow, he doesn't throw up at all. But really, I do all the time, and it's really funny. Because then the next day, when you leave their eyes, they're like, oh man, what? Why is there vomit in my plant pot? And they go to wash their clothes and there's like vomit in their washing machine. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a secret one. You can keep that one. Use that in your own time. It's a great one. So, you know, these kids don't really know how bad I am at drinking. There's a th thing here when we talk about I'm just gonna not acknowledge it. I'm just gonna talk about my kids. So, you know, they're little bitches. They're snitches as well, let me tell you. We were walking past a policeman, and one of the kids was like, Hey, Mr. Policeman, our, our, our daddy has a bag full of weed in his pocket, and he told us he killed a guy. And the policeman looked at me, he was like, What? Um, and I had to, you know, um, I had to, to discreetly get rid of the little bag of weed. <coughs> and I can't tell you where I hit it. But let's say, let's say where I hid the bag of weed. Let's just say that it rhymes with uh, banus. Yeah, that's good. What is uh, what happening in this game? Am I supposed to pay attention? I'm, ta I'm telling you guys stories about when I met the policeman. And then he was like, did you really kill a guy? And I'm like, listen, man, who hasn't killed a guy? And the policeman chuckled. He's like, true that, Holmes. True that who hasn't killed a guy and then he just like went away on his business I'm like wow he dodged the bullet there that could have been dangerous did I get him oh I really I got him I mean of course I got him I'm Mario I'm not only am I Mario I'm Mr. Good Mario Mr. Mario good they call me good Mario because of all the good yes give me this Gimme, gimme, gimme! Oh, I miss him so sucky. Cool. Yeah! Um, so, yeah, what I'm saying to you is, kids suck ass and are little bitches, so... If you have, if you have kids, just punch them. You know? Like, I don't, I don't, I didn't miss those kids at all, but they're like, Oh, we gotta see our daddy, or whatever, I don't know, I don't know what they said. But I really wish they had just not... Pay any attention to me. That would have been happier. 
um, you know, they they seemed happy that they were wherever the fuck they were. They volunteered to go away from me, and I was happy with that because if you're a father, you have to like just pretend that you like your kids. You, I mean, that's society. You just have to pretend it. You can't, you, you know, if you if you flat out say that you don't like your kids, then fucking. Social security come along and they're like, oh, you can't do that. Dude, kids, kids are precious. Brr. Kids aren't precious. Kids suck dicks. I mean, not literally because that's a whole other kettle of fish. But what I'm saying to you is, didn't much care for my kids. And then the bad news is, they're coming to visit. They want to, you know, patch things up. And I'm like, the best way you could have patched things up is just by not ever talking to me ever again. I won't be having a good time. Don't you feel better now if you haven't seen me in? 26 years and they said yes a little bit but also our therapist says we should try to um, reconnect with all our past mistakes and try to figure them out you know and um, reconnect with some of the people that we, we, we've missed in our lives beforehand and I was like mm, first of all you go to therapy ah fuck you you crazy bitches but also secondly uh, I don't care no don't involve me in your shenanigans, I don't want to know. Um, you know, keep that shit to yourself. If you're crazy, it's nothing to do with me. None of my business. Oh, are you dead yet? Yes. Um, so just go on, get out of here, and be like, no, we want to play Mario Sunshine with you, Dad. I'm like, don't ever call me that. I can't. I don't want to hear it. Disgusting. And then I hung up the phone, but they were standing beside me because I was talking to my lawyer at the time. I said, What do you want, kids? And they were like, We just want to connect with you and play Mario Sunshine with you. And I said, No, you can't because you guys suck at Mario Sunshine. You're garbage. I tried letting you play Mario Sunshine whenever you were two years old and you were terrible at it. You couldn't do anything, you couldn't find the blue coins, you couldn't do the um, that one I did in the last episode with the spinny blocks and I only did that you know I did that in like only seven or eight tries easy but you you're kids and you're stupid so you probably couldn't do it because you know you got tiny fingers and um, but anyway don't worry about that so um no thank you and the kids are like no let's Let's go and do all the stuff we used to do. Let's, you know, go get a, a beer and a smoke. I'm like, what? You guys are fucking... You guys are pussies. You can't... You don't have to drink. And they're like, we could not. I'm like, I don't care. Leave me alone. Go bother your mother. That's what I said to them. I said, go bother your mother. And they said, she, she's dead. And I was like, what? When did this happen? I just saw her. And they were like, no, you didn't. That was just a big cardboard cutout of mother that you put in the house after she left you. And I said, yeah, but that still counts, right? I mean, that still counts as me getting to see her. That still counts as me being married to her. Because technically we didn't get divorced. Death isn't a divorce. You have to do way better. You mean, do you really think you're going to be able to get away from me just via death? Because you are incorrect, my friend. I will follow you. I will follow you to the depths of hell. I will swim through the river of sticks just to punch you in the face. I'm a very vindictive, vindictive person. And if I want to ruin your life, I fucking will. And that includes going to hell and, and fucking shit up. What's one thing I like about hell? It's really easy to fuck shit up. Down there. They give you all the facilities for it. They make it very easy to uh, to fuck shit up. It's it's set up perfectly for it, I think. You know, like if you go to heaven and you want to fuck shit up, it's it's very time consuming. You have to kind of know how to to do it. Like this, the the system they have set up there isn't really meant for fucking up. You know, like. Everybody's been good in heaven, so if you go to heaven, you cannot follow the rules. It's very hard to break the rules and get away with it. But uh, in hell, they kind of like it's tailor made for that shit. Like that's part of the gimmick. 
the um, the fact that everything's very easy to fuck up. So um, yeah, I, ver I very much enjoy uh, hell over heaven, but that I think is a given. I think you could probably have guessed that. Anyway, I love going to hell and just like fucking shit up because um, you know Satan's like, hey, what's up, dude? I'm like, yo, buddy, what's up? You all right? He's like, nah, not bad. Not my fucking kids are coming over. I'm like, oh, God, tell me about it. Right? Little fucking pricks. I think they're so smart, but they ain't smart. Much of motherfuckers. Um, so, like, even Satan's going through the same kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Tough times in Tim Tom Tom. Yes. That's three red, blue coins in this one. Can I get four? Can I... Break the streak. Like I said, you guys missed the time that I actually got four blue coins. I'm going to do it in this run. It's a purple one. Yes, 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 yes. It's crazy eyes, Larry. Come to my shop. My prices are insane. Mmm, my eyes are so crazy. You'll definitely want to buy one of my lab shades I couldn't think of a thing that people sell it's embarrassing I know I'm sorry do my best here four I did it I did it Mario no, I think there's no one over here right am I safe no I am not oh shit is that one too fuck me in the anus don't do that don't, please don't. Unless, unless you want to do that. I mean, do I want that? Look, let's get off the anus. Let's just talk about something else. So anyway, I was down in hell. I was talking to Satan. And I mean, he's like, yeah, my kids are coming over. I'm like, dude, tell me about it. Your fucking kids, are they like, are they really fucking annoying as well? Are they just like a bunch of like, I love this guy. <laughs> and, oh, fuck. Oh my god! Did that explode? No! Come here! Hit this! I am good! Four! Or is it five? I'm fucking clips of that. I gotta do one more. And, and he was like, yeah man, this is a drag. I'm fucking, I'm not having a good time, man. I'm like, dude, don't worry about it. You know, if you're having a bad day, take a few calm breaths. A little beer. You're all right. But a little beer, Satan. Don't like get fucking. You remember what you were like at Sally's wedding? And you drank way too much beer. And you made a dick out of yourself. That, don't do that. Don't do that. And he was like, "Yeah, man, but it's hell. What are you gonna do? You know, that's what we do here. We fucking drink beer, and make dicks out of ourselves." Oh, titty hands! Can I hit this? Do I gotta be here? This is gonna be a really long episode. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Anyway, my kids' names are Josephine, um, Fronal, um, Cas, Pedural. Uh, he's the one I, I like the least. Cas Pedural, don't like him. I think he's a bit of a dick. I didn't pick his name. By the way, my wife also didn't pick the name. Don't uh, don't even ask how we came up with Casper Doe as a, a, a kid that we got. But wasn't happy about it. Wasn't happy. Um, long story. I'll tell you that story some other day. But yeah, I wasn't happy with that one. Pick it up, you clown. That's another one of my kids. Pick it up, you clog. Cause by the end of the by the end of it, me and my wife were just fucking. We were fed up, um, and we just thought, you know, this was this was number what number was this? How many kids do I have? Fifteen maybe. And by that point, we were like, the one thing we say a lot is pick it up, you clog. So why don't we call one of our kids that so that? But then that was stupid because when one of the other kids drop something we were like pick it up you clown and he would be like yeah I'm like not you you prick and then prick would be like talking to me I'm like 
No, but yes, a little bit. I mean, you are a prick. Get the fuck out of my head. <laughs> oh, shit. So I, I got really... <laughs> I got genuinely excited about Super Mario. Oh, I got the right one. Um, what other ones do we have? Oh, the kids. Um, Tover Grace. The real, the actual Tover Grace. The, the actor. He is one of our kids. We adopted him. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say a lot of the time when you watch this show, I'm gonna say that I'm the best Mario Sunshine player in the world. But I gotta say, that was <laughs> easily proper. <laughs> Okay. That was also a very terrible play. I, you know, I, I'll admit I'm not infallible. You know, we've all made mistakes. I'm not Superman, but uh, yeah, that was that was not not good. Run, you mushroom motherfucker! This is gonna be a long episode too, cause I gotta. I have to beat this bit. I'm not. I'm not stopping this in the two episodes, unless it goes like 20 minutes. But yeah. uh, uh, oh. all right, tilt the camera first. Well, bam, 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 did it. All right. Oh fuck. All right. I can do this. Come on, I believe in myself. It's all about belief. If you believe you can, then you can. And if you don't believe you can, then get the fuck out of my eyes. Um, that was another one of my kids. His name was uh, Serge Tank Cannon. No, it wasn't Serge. It was uh, the other one. Um, Darren. No, you know what? None of my kids were named after members of System of a Nine. So, ignore that bit. Scratch that. Cut the last minute of this out. Hooray, I got a shine. I hope you enjoyed my talking about my kids. Uh...